In this video, I'll show you how to enter your response with proper math syntax in Mobius. When using symbol mode, there's a syntax checker that highlights some errors. Hover your cursor over the yellow highlighted section to view the suggestion. The syntax checker picks up some spelling errors in math functions, or some math notation that doesn't make sense. It doesn't tell you if you've answered the question correctly or not. In this example, only having one parenthesis doesn't make sense mathematically. There needs to be a right parenthesis to match. In text entry, use math notation similar to that used by a graphing calculator. For trig functions, this means using sine, cosine, tangent as seen in this table. Mobius recognizes these without parentheses, but in some examples like this one, you will still need them to apply the trig function properly. In this example, parentheses are needed for a different order of operations. This expression is different without the parentheses. Some questions may require more strict math syntax. We sometimes refer to this as maple syntax. In this example, the multiplication symbol is required. If it's not clear from the instructions in the question, click the preview icon. If your preview is blank or doesn't appear as expected, it may be because you aren't using the correct syntax. Here is the syntax for some other functions. All of these functions are case sensitive, and so are variables. So just like any math test, make sure you are using the same variables asked for by the question. And that's an overview of entering proper math syntax in Mobius. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video to be helpful. Want to see what else you can do in Mobius? Be sure to check out the links to the Mobius Online Help in the video description, as well as our other Mobius video guides. Subscribe to the Digital Ed channel to be the first to know when a new video comes out. And don't forget to hit that like button.